well, co comparing the Bible to the Quran. Yeah. And saying, I think we were talking about whether the um, God of the Quran is the same as the God of the Bible. Yeah. I don't think it is. Okay. And the re I, and I gave a couple of reasons. First of all, the simplest one is that can Allah have a child? Okay. When you say when you say the God, because we, we look at it from a different angle, mm -hmm. we would say that. Um, I, I will answer your question. We would say God is the Almighty, mm -hmm. the All Knowing, the All Wise, yeah. the Creator, the heavens and the earth. Yeah. So when, for example, if you say that God has a son, yeah. okay, and we say God hasn't got a son, mm -hmm. we wouldn't say that you're talking about a different God. But we would say the way you do, the way you have described him or what you've attributed to him is wrong. If, if, do you see what I mean? Okay, so yeah. you would say that what I've attributed to God is wrong? Yes, but, we, but, say, but we wouldn't say that the Christians or the Jews have a different God. What well, the thing is, yeah. like for instance, yeah? Uh, you have a different description of God, but not a different God. Cause, the thing is... Because we're all talking about the Almighty, the All-Knowing, the All, yeah, the Creator, I mean, the Heavens and the Earth. But what, what I'm saying is this, yeah. that if, for instance, yeah, we, we, we're looking for somebody, yeah and then we have to give a description of this person to the police yeah. and then I say the person right Denise? Yes, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, good. Hi, madam, you're great. yeah it's been a minute so I, and I say to the police yeah. okay I'm looking for this person yeah. he's like um, oh, good to see you too he's 5'10 um, yeah. he's a black guy and he has a son yeah. And then someone else goes to this to the police and say, okay, I'm looking for someone. He's five ten. He's a black guy. He's childless. Would the police look for the same person? Okay. I understand your example. Would you say that the Jews and the Christians have a different God? The Jews and the Christians? No. Because the Jews will tell you that their God is not a Trinity, and the Christ, and the Christ, and the Christians will say. I'm not a Christian. And no, but, but, no but, but the Christians would say, mm -hmm. or not all the Christians, but the, I would say the majority of Christians would say that God is a Trinity. Okay. So, but you said that the, the God of the Jews and the Christians is the same. Uh, yeah. But then your example doesn't work. Uh, kind of you, does. You, you see my point? Uh, yeah, but I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. The God of the, the God of, the God of the Bible. Of the Jews, of the Old Testament. Yeah, the God of the, Bi God of the Bi Old Testament and New Testament is the same God. Even though those who hold on to the New Testament say that God is a Trinity. I hold on to the New Testament and I don't believe God's a Trinity. Uh -huh. No, but I'm talking about the majority of Christians. Yeah, but I mean, okay. Yeah. The majority oh, yeah. of Christians, to be, uh, the thing is... Okay, okay, let's, let's make it more simple. Mm -hmm. the, the, those who hold on to the New Testament mm -hmm. and they don't believe in the Trinity, mm -hmm. they believe that God has a son mm -hmm. who is Jesus. Yeah. And the Jews, they don't believe that God has a son called Jesus. Yeah. So, judging by your example, you would have to say that they're different gods. No. Not, not, not Unless necessary. you're changing the goalposts. No, I'm not changing the goalposts. What, yeah. I'm, what I'm saying is, yeah. okay, the um, Jews believe a certain thing about this God. Yes. Yeah. And the Christians believe, believe something else about that God. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, so the police are looking for a black man who's yeah. five foot ten and has got a son called Jesus. Yeah. And another man says, "No, I'm there is a black man who's five foot ten, and he definitely does not have a son called Jesus." Yeah. According to your original example, when you compared it to the Muslims the Islam, yeah. and the Christians, mm -hmm. you said they're different. But when you said it to the Jews and the Christians, you're saying it's. This, do you understand my point? Look, I get your point. But the thing is, but why do you, why do you say but then? Because you get my point, but. Oh yeah, I get your yeah, point. Yeah. But there's. Do you see my point? Yeah. yeah. Is... You can differ with your dad. It's fine. <laughs> no. Okay. The what what I'm trying to say is when you talk about what the um, Christians believe about about God. Yeah. About the God of the Bible, they believe in the Old Testament God. Yeah. They say they do, but the but the Jews definitely say they don't. Okay, how is that? Because the the Jews 
Uh, we're talking in generalities. There's different groups among Christians. Different. Mm -hmm. The Jews believe a Messiah will come. Okay. When this Messiah will come, he will be a human being mm -hmm. and he will bring the Jews back to the state of Israel mm -hmm. and then all mankind will hold on to the tales of the Jews and follow them. And, when G and, the, and he will establish peace on the earth, etc, etc, etc. But the Christians, they believe that the Messiah has already come has already come mm -hmm. most of these prophecies he's going to fulfill them when he comes a second time okay such as establishing peace uh destroying all his enemies because obviously when he was here he didn't do that so the thing is my point is that the jews so the point is even when the christians say they believe in the god of the old testament mm -hmm. the jews are saying no you don't okay yeah You, you understand Jews, they don't believe that Christians believe in the God of the Old Testament. Yeah, I understand that. So, our, our position is mm -hmm. that we may have different descriptions of God. And, yeah. and we would say that your description of God is wrong. Okay. okay. But when we're talking about God, God is that entity which is the creator of the heavens and the earth, the creator of all of oh, us. See, the thing is... I and would, that's what we're talking about. I wouldn't say yeah. that the Jews' description of God is wrong. Uh -huh. I wouldn't say that the... I mean, I don't like to use the word Christian because I'm, I'm not a Christian. Uh -huh. So, basically, when you was, when you was um, talking about Christians, I was kind of lumping my own belief in that, but even though I'm not okay, really yeah. a Christian. What are you then? Huh? I'm a person who believes in the Bible. Okay. I be what happened? I thought it was with my phone. Oh. I'm a person who believes the Bible. I stand on the word of the Bible. Okay. So, I believe that the God of the Old Testament and the New Testament are one and the same. Okay. Okay? So, what the Jews believe, yeah? When they reject Jesus. When, when they reject Jesus, I believe that they... They're have, mistaken. They're looking, for the, they're looking for the Messiah. Yeah. But... The Messiah that came in, um, call his name Jesus, fine. Um, it's commonly known name, yeah. 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 Um, the Messiah that came yeah. fulfilled a lot of a lot of the prophecies, yeah. but he didn't um, install his kingdom. That, that he didn't bring back the kingdom to, kingdom to Israel, which is what the Jews are actually looking for. Yeah, of course. Yeah? Okay. But because that's the, what the prophecies see, the say he will do. The difference yeah. that we have. It's not in the God, it's in the Messiah. Okay. So do you believe that do you believe Jesus is God? No. What do you what, when you say he's the son of God, what do you mean? I believe it is what it says, he is the son of God. As in he's a righteous man. Not just a righteous man, like he the, is the son of God. Adam is Adam like is the son of God. Yeah. yeah, Adam is a direct creation of God. Yeah. yeah? Jesus, yeah. the man they call Jesus, did not have a father. Joseph was not his father. He is a direct son of God. In a the, miraculous son of God. In the Quran, it mentions uh, chapter three. Quite interesting. In the method of Isa, in the Allah, in method of Adam, خلقهم من تراب ثم قال له كن فيكون. That verily the likeness of in the method in, uh, in the method of Isa, the, the, the likeness of Jesus is like is the likeness of Adam. We created him from dust, and we said be, and it is. So when you say that we accept Jesus as the virgin birth, we accept. Mm -hmm. But when you say that this necessitates that. Therefore, he must be the son of God. Yeah. Which the Gospel according to Luke says that he's the son of God because the Holy Spirit overcame Mary. This would mean that Adam has a higher status because he was born without a, well, he came into existence without a mother or a father. We wouldn't say that. He, it wouldn't mean that he had a higher status. Or you know, um, Eve or Hawa. Uh -huh. Eve. But you can't yeah, come on, come on, come on. Because Adam was conflicted by sin. Uh -huh. So how can how can he have before a before status? before sin? Because the point your father brought was the issue of that he didn't have a father. Therefore, God is his father. Mm -hmm. uh, and Eve, God is Adam's father. Eve, as well. Did Eve have a mother? So does that mean that God is her mother? He no, Adam. What? No, 
No, no, no, because if we're saying that Jesus, because he didn't have a, of, he didn't a father, have a, he therefore he becomes the, that God becomes his father. Then what do we say about Adam, who didn't have a mother or father? That God is his father. Creator or father? Or creator, but he's, Adam is also called the son of God. Okay, so that was, that was my point. When you said that Jesus is son of God, and yeah. I said, like Adam is a son of God, and you said no, different. Uh, no, I never, I never okay. said oh, that. I, well, because I, I believe that Adam is a son of God. So, so, I've always, I've always uh, believed that Adam so, is a son of God. So the what, Bible says. But what do you mean by? So what do you mean by son of God? Because I understand that the the, the Hebrew culture, the mm -hmm. Old Testament culture, was that someone who's righteous, they mm -hmm. would call them the sons of God. Blessed, oh. are, blessed are the peacemakers, for they for shall they be the sons of God. For they shall be called That's yeah. New Testament, Old so, Testament. So, yeah, Solomon is but, called the son of God. Yeah. Adam is called the son of God. They're called, they're, they're called um, children the, the of God, judge, yeah. the, but Moses is called Elo Elohim. He's called a God. Yeah. Judge, but all yeah. So, but, yeah. okay. Yeah. So, because, so the point is the sin. Will you call, will you call um, yeah. Because Moses was called Elohim, he, so that means he was a god. Is that what you're trying to say? No, no, no. Because the, uh, because there are words that can be used to describe people, yeah. which is a descriptive term, but not actually reality. What they are. Not yeah. reality. He's yeah. a representative god. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to know when you say that Jesus is the son, of, the god, son of God, what yeah. do you mean by son? By son, that he is the only begotten son of God. Okay. So begotten, as in brought into existence. In John three sixteen. Yeah. Oh, the God soul of the world he gave his only begotten son yeah, that you might said, be saved. Yeah. When you said begotten, yeah. yeah. What does begotten mean? Well, in the English language it has two meanings basically. Mm -hmm. And I'm not I'm not saying it's this one. If a male and female come together, they can beget a child. I'm not saying this one. Mm -hmm. But second is to bring something into existence okay. that, that such so, and such happened and it begot so this. When you say okay, when we talk about so biblical, it, when you say when you say begotten, it means born, yeah? If, to be brought into existence, as okay. in you, 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 you didn't, you he's, not, like, he's not eternal. When you say he like, hasn't always existed. When, no, well, no, but that's but, what begotten is. When you say, when you say like, um, do you believe Jesus is, is eternally existent? Eternally? Yeah. No. Okay. So he, there was a time he didn't exist. Yes. And God brought him to existence. Yes. You're a proper heret heretical Christian. I'm not uh, a heretical Christian. Christian. Yeah, yeah. I am a biblical believing Christian. Okay. I believe what is written in the Bible. Okay. So. What, People who don't believe what's written in the Bible, who people who don't believe the word yeah. of God, yeah. they're the heretics, not me. So what do you mean by son then? Hmm? Uh, he was the son of God. He was a direct, like, physically. God used the Holy Spirit to implant him into, uh, to miraculously implant him into Mary. Yeah. So God is his father. So isn't but, he addressing Psalm 37? Oh, sorry, sorry. So, one minute. So, so you know, obviously this is your son. Mm -hmm and you're human mm -hmm. so therefore he is human mm -hmm. so if god has a son what is his son part god no he's got his son yeah yeah because what we have to understand like god is divine is his yeah. son also divine well as, a, as in god yeah no his son is not god okay so, so then it still goes back to what do you mean by son because when you give the example of mm -hmm. the, uh, the Holy so, Spirit okay. caused him to become pregnant, Mary okay, to become what pregnant. You have to understand yeah. This, yeah, yeah. Is he part God, what part you, human? No, no, no. Because that's what that's what yeah, Father would mean. This is what I'm trying to. Yeah. This is what I'm trying to tell you. When he came, when, because before he came to Earth, yeah, he was because basically what I what I believe is that Yahushua yeah, was the first creation of God. Okay. The first creation when he spoke. The, like it says, in the beginning was the word, and that word, because at first, um, God was by himself. In the beginning himself. was the word. The word. And no, it doesn't say that. It says he doesn't say that in the beginning God was by himself. So in the beginning was the word, yeah. and the word was with God, and the word was God. Mm -hmm. So are you saying this word is Jesus? I'm saying that the word was it, God. No, I'm not saying that the word was God. I mean that's yeah. what, that's what that's what John one one says. It depends on the translation you read. Uh, yeah, so uh, because some people say is because Jesus was a God. Because what you have to understand is the Bible was not written in English. Yes, of course. The Bible was not in, written in English. So in in Greek, there are lots, there are many different words for God. Isn't that a problem though? If because it, obviously when you say Greek to English, it can you can lose things in translation. Yeah. But if Jesus never spoke Greek, 
Isn't that also a problem? Do we know that Jesus never spoke Greek? I mean, according to the book of Acts, he spoke Hebrew. According to most uh, historians, he spoke Aramaic. But, oh. the, but the books were written but, after him in Greek. But, but um, yeah. at that time, yeah. what was the language that most people spoke in the world? It would be what was the language that the people of Galileo and Jerusalem yeah, spoke, but I mean, it, and it would have been Aramaic. I mean, most historians they say that Jesus spoke Aramaic. Okay. I think the Book of Acts says that he spoke Hebrew. But see, the thing is, my point was, um, it's a small point, but if we're going to be concerned about um, English because the book is written in Greek, then you have to be concerned about Greek. All of the New Testament, 27 books are written in Greek, but Jesus, as far as we know, didn't speak Greek or he didn't communicate in Greek. Okay. But the thing is, you know, our, our message is, is um, I, there's one God, he's created us to worship him, and he sent messengers to tell us who is God, how to worship God, and what's going to happen when we meet God. So we believe in Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, but we believe Jesus was a messenger. We don't believe he was um, God. We don't believe he's part. Which okay, same so, as you. We don't believe he's part of the Trinity. So, we don't believe he's the Son of God. Okay, well, I mean, I don't and we don't believe. believe we don't believe. I believe, he, I believe that he's the but Son. We don't of believe he's a human sacrifice either. Okay, so what? How? how in Islam, yeah. How do we um, conquer sin? Okay. See, all of us commit sins, mm -hmm. yes. In Islam, we believe that our father Adam and his wife Hawa, Eve, she committed a sin. They, they committed a sin. And because of the sin, they were taken out of the garden and placed in this earth to be tested. But we believe they repented from their sin. We don't believe that, um, that the father can bear the iniquity of the son. And we don't believe that the son can bear the iniquity of the father. We don't believe that sin is passed down generation to generation. We believe that, for example, when I commit a sin, mm -hmm. which obviously I do, there's ways it can be forgiven. The most direct way is I turn to God directly and I seek his mercy, you know, oh my Lord, I have, I have sinned and I seek forgiveness. And if I'm sincere, he will forgive me. So, okay, so... Without someone else having to die for my sins. Okay. So, if... So, how, how come... This world is so simple though. Because according to my Bible, yeah. when God created everything, yeah. it was good. Uh, he created everything perfect. Uh, there was no sin, there was uh, no death, everything uh, was perfect. Yeah. Then yeah. God told Adam and Eve, do not eat from this tree. Yeah. They disobeyed and through that sin entered the world and the whole of creation was corrupted. Through them disobeying God, sin entered into the world. Yes. So they committed the first sin. Yes. And because of them, sin came into this world. Yes. Okay, we, we differ. Okay, yeah. so how did sin come into the world then? We understand that mankind has been created with a free will. Yeah. And we are being created to be tested. And we can be tested, and we are tested with that which is good and that which is bad. So God created man sinful then? No. Like, for, for example, we believe, a, like a child, uh, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, he said, uh, Every child is born in a natural state. If you leave that child alone, they will worship one God, they will recognize one God. A child is sinless to us. Until a child, a person becomes of a certain age, then they become accountable. Then they can choose between good and bad. We are not saying that every child is born in a state of sin because of Adam. Uh -huh. But the thing is, because this life is a test, like, for, for okay. example, let me, let me just finish okay. up. The Christian, I would say the Christian concept, or the Bibli those people who believe in the New Testament, and they would say that because Adam committed a sin, then death came into this world. And someone needs to die for that sin to be taken away from mankind, yes? The Quran mentions uh, in chapter 67 It mentions that, that he is the one who's created death and life in order to test us Those who are best in deeds So for us, 
death and life is not uh, connected because someone committed a sin then death came into existence. We understand that all mankind is being created and placed in this world for a fixed amount of time and then we're going to die and we're going to be judged. That, that, that death is part of the, uh, the plan that mankind is going to die and return to the Creator. It's not because Adam, our father Adam committed a sin then death came into existence. So we were always meant to die? Yeah, we were always going to die. Because this life is a life, a test. Because the verse mentions that Allah is so, the one who created death and life in order so, to test us. So you're telling me that God's creation, God's perfect creation, was always meant to decay and die? No, this is a temporary life. This, this life is a, is a place of so test. What, so yeah. what God made wasn't perfect then? What do you mean by perfect? Like. You believe that, did Adam, was Adam made, made perfect? Yes. How was he able to disobey God then? Because he was given free will, like uh -huh. you said. Uh -huh. Angels were given okay. free will and they disobeyed. But he still had the ability to disobey. He had the ability to, to okay. disobey, but once he disobeyed, he was no longer perfect. And that's how sin entered into this world. Okay. So when he had the potentiality to disobey, was he perfect? Uh, yes. How? You can't if, 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 he had, if he has the... The potential. So that so that's the so, same as us. If, so, if, so, that, so that's so, the same with us. Mm -hmm. Because when a baby's born, a baby's born sinless. But the baby, how yeah. can a baby be born sinless? Because if there is no, if you have, um, if you if you are born, how can a baby sin? not be born sinless? They haven't committed any sin, have they? No, but if they're born, if they're born sinless, then they're born perfect. What do you mean by perfect? Because okay, like for instance, yeah. When like perfect is with no deficiency. No deficiency, no sin. You're born without the taint of sin. So there, there, there's no ignorance, there's no weakness. Uh, yeah. Because, like for, because uh, I believe that sin is inherited from, um, our, from our forefather Adam. Isn't that unjust? Huh? But the Bible says, uh, I mentioned it before, Ezekiel, mm -hmm. I think chapter 20, that the father will not bear the iniquity of the son and the son will not bear the iniquity of the father yeah but you're saying that all mankind is bearing a sin which we never committed and even that sin it cannot be removed by god's mercy unless his son bears the sin of all mankind and dies for us yeah so that's unjust how is it unjust because you're saying that all because of us it's not like in the bible i'll tell like, you why it's unjust because uh, you're saying that all of us are carrying a sin mm -hmm. which we never committed and this sin cannot be removed from us but someone who is innocent has to be punished for that sin because that's unjust it's not unjust why not because like the, like me carrying the sin of adam and i never done it that, that the bible says yeah. yeah can the potter can the can the clay say to the potter why have you made me thus what god what the most high does yeah, yeah. what you have to understand is when sin came into this world, yeah. right, when sin came into this world, we all inherited that sin. Without committing it? Look, for instance. So we, we, are, when you, when so we you, are bearing the iniquity of the Father. When, when you have... Are we bearing the sin of the Father? For, for, our, for, for um, the original sin, yeah. Yeah, so that's because unjust. It's not unjust. Why not? <sighs> because... Like what happens if a baby dies? That, that's because of that is because of what's happened without the sin in this world there would be no death no no but the baby if the baby dies yeah has that is that baby died as a uh, in a state of sin well yeah without committing a sin you, you see what i'm saying no, it's unjust i'm not listen, yeah. the thing because we believe babies are born sinless but that's and, impossible and, and they don't why not because we have all, I mean, why is it impossible? Because the Bible says all yeah. have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. It's impossible because the Bible says. Yeah. But without, no, the, like said, without I, the Bible saying it, it's, it's possible. No, but my point is, like I'm saying, I'm saying if, if Adam, our father, committed a sin, mm -hmm. and now we're all born with that sin, I'm saying that's unjust because we haven't committed that sin. But you're saying because the Bible says it, then it becomes just. Because that's what happened. Uh -huh. and According to the Bible. Yeah. Okay. So my question would be slightly moving. How do you know the Bible is the word of God? 
because it's what I have. It's the best thing that's out there. For you, the best of you. How do you know that the Quran? Is? Yeah, how do you know that the Quran is the word of God? Okay, bro. See, the, 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 the rain. Stand, stand, stand the rain. Yeah. So how, do you know that, how do you know that the Quran is the word of God? Okay, I would say what happened is, I asked, I asked you a question, mm -hmm. you used the Bible as an evidence. Yeah. So I'm because asking I you believe what, that the Bible is the word of God. Yeah. We asked you a question yeah. and you used the Quran yeah, as but, evidence. Oh, but we can, we can discuss that, but wouldn't it make more sense to say why the Bible is the word of God? Oh, well, okay. Do you, you see my point? Yeah, but I mean the question goes both ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm happy because, to answer. Okay. So, yeah. um, I'll give you one answer. Can I borrow this? Yeah, no problem. I would say the Quran is the word of God because it claims to be the word of God. And so the, that's the same answer I'd give for the Bible. Okay, where does the book of Genesis claim to be the word of God? Give me one second. Uh, right, just I mean, obviously, a claim can be made and you can, the claim can be false. But I'm saying the beginning is the Quran actually claims to be the word of God, whereas the Bible doesn't. Okay, so... Um, so that, that would, that would, that would I, I would say that would give our argument more weight. Because our, whether it's right or wrong, at least our book is claiming to be the word of God. But the Bible itself... As in each individual book, 66 books written over a period of 1,500 years, yes, claimed to be written by 40 authors. Not all of these books claim to be the word of God. This is a, it's an external claim. Like the first five books, people say it's the, it's the, the books of Moses. Mm -hmm. This is an external claim. The books themselves don't claim to be the books of Moses. Okay. Like, um, so um, how was Adam created? From dust. From dust. Yeah. Okay. Um, can you go to chapter two from verse thirty, please? Okay. Can I just say what what I think you're going to do? The Quran it mentions the Adam being created from nothing. Okay. The Quran mentions the Adam being created from dust. Mm -hmm. The Quran mentions the Adam being created from clay. Mm -hmm. The Quran mentions the mankind being created from a, a, a nutfa, like from the female egg and the male sperm, etc. Mm -hmm. etc. Et so people say that these are all contradictory. That's, okay. that's the general argument. And then obviously they would turn around and say, therefore, the Quran can't be the, the word of God because it has contradictions. Mm -hmm. But this argument is, if you look, this is the stages of creation. Mankind didn't exist then God chose to create us. So we from were, dust. So we, we were created from nothing. As in, yeah, we no didn't exist, yeah, okay. and then God... And then God created. But then God okay. took dust from the earth, mm -hmm. and then this, this dust, it was left until it became clay. And then from this clay, Adam was created. And then from this, the sons of Adam, mankind, we have been created from our father, but all of us come into existence from a nutfa, sperm, okay, and yeah. an egg. So, so, you, so you understand, it's, it's not a contradiction, it's di different types and different stages. Yeah. Can I have chapter 2, verse 30? Yes. But with I'm, I'm supposed to be on my way to see my sister, so we've got to bounce soon. No problem, no problem. Uh, let's see, chapter 2, verse 30. Ah, uh, yes. I mentioned, O Muhammad, when your Lord said to the angels, Indeed, I will make upon the earth a successive authority. They said, Will you place upon it one who causes corruption there and sheds blood? While we exalt you with praise and declare your perfection. He, Allah, said, Indeed, I know that which you do not know. Maybe it's another verse you're looking for. This is, but this is the, the first time that the creation of Adam is mentioned. Is that what you're looking for or something similar? Like, like for example, when you mentioned the, the four Gospels, none of the Gospel authors tell us who they, who they are. 
And none of those gospel authors actually say, I was inspired by God or this is a revelation from God. Like if you read Luke uh, chapter 1, verse 1 <laughs> down to 4, he tells you why he wrote it. Many people were writing, so I felt it was something good to write. He doesn't say that I received revelation from God, I was inspired by the Holy Spirit. He just said many people were writing and I felt it was something good to do. So the fact that the Bible is the word of God is an external claim. Whereas the, the Quran itself, it tells you it's the word of God. And then it gives you tests. If you don't mind, what are you actually looking for? Stand up. Oh. The ring, ring. Do you know what you... You know what, the thing is... What's the subject? Sorry. No problem, no problem. What's the subject? I might be able to find it for you. Thank you. Okay. Was Jesus Muhammad? No, no. Muhammad, Muhammad is a separate person. So after he came about 600 Last years after Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so Jesus is always superior to who? Um, what did you say that? Well, the Quran says that there's no difference, make no distinctions amongst the prophets. What are you actually looking for? Um, just the I might be able to find it for you. Okay. Um, where in the um, where the Quran says that um, God separated all things, where it tastes like the um, Big Bang? Um, I'm not, people say this, but I'm not convinced by the argument. It's uh, chapter 21. Yeah, but I'm just saying, my mother. Yes, we are all witnesses of Allah. I know. We see Allah creation. Yes. Anyway. You're going to come and see us again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. One day. All right. All right. I'll see you next week. Yes, all right. Take care. Take care. We are all, we are all witnesses of Allah. All right, then. We are Allah's creation. Yes. Okay, yeah, here it is. Chapter 21 from verse 30. Okay. Yes. 100%. Have those who believe, uh, sorry, have those who disbelieve not considered that the heavens and the earth were a joint entity and then we separated them and made from water every living thing? Then will they not believe? He says here, every living thing was made from water. Yes. Was Adam a living thing? Yes. So he was made from water. I mean, that's the main thing we're made up of, yes. So it wasn't made from dust, because dust and water are like two. Oh, you said water, dust, uh -huh. nothing, dust, mud, all that stuff, yeah. sperm, whatever. Uh -huh. But here it says every living thing was made from water. Uh -huh. And does that, but that, does that negate the fact that he was made from dust? I mean, was, was water not added to the dust? I don't know. You uh -huh. tell me. It doesn't uh -huh. say that. It just says uh -huh. water. Well, I mean, yeah. Okay, but uh -huh. um. This one, I will look. I will look up an answer for you. Mm -hmm. But still, it doesn't negate the fact. If, if mankind was, or everything was created from water, mm -hmm. I will. I will look it up for you. But still, the point is, when you said the Bible is the word of God, yeah. How do you know it's the word of God? Um. Like this point hasn't been answered. I will, I will look it up and I will come back to you. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to go. No problem. In a minute. What verse are you looking for? Ah, Second Timothy 3:16. All Scripture is breathed out by Elohim and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for setting things straight, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of Elohim may be fitted, equipped for every good work. This point I haven't answered, but this point. Uh, there's three problems with it. Okay. One is biblical scholars, they say that 2 Timothy was not written by Paul. They don't know who wrote it, that's one. Okay. Second, second point is that when it says scriptures here, the intent is the, is the Old Testament. Because the letters of Paul were all written before the Gospels. Okay. So the intent here is scripture is referring to the Old Testament. Okay. 
The third problem is, this is too vague. Because when it says scriptures, the Jews, the Christians, the various different groups, they all differ on what is the canon and what is apocrypha, what is canon. So you can't actually use that to say that this Genesis is from God, uh, Exodus is from God, Deuteronomy is from God, because there's too many. Uh, so basically what yeah. that takes is faith. But faith should be based on evidence, isn't it? Really? Yeah, one hundred percent. The Bible, the Bible says, prove all things. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. If yeah, if you, if it says the one who does not see and believes, the belief yeah, in the yeah. substance of what is expected, the evidence of what's not seen. Yeah, but it should still have evidence, isn't it? Like, for but, example, yeah, I, I have the evidence of what. I mean, that's 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 why like, we believe see, in God, I isn't it? Have without seeing him. Yeah, but, but we I have mean, enough evidence to show there must be a God, like our existence. Again, I have faith, yeah. but the thing is, you you use yeah. your existence as as evidence of God. Yes. An atheist would use your existence as evidence of evolution. Yeah, but we, we would go back and forth over the evidence. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, uh -huh. I believe yeah. in my God based on the word of God which I have with me, which my faith tells me but you is His word. Okay. Because but, but at then, the end of the day, it, all then, I need uh, yeah. is my faith. But your faith is the same as a Hindu's faith, a Buddhist it's faith, not the same. and a Muslim faith. No, the details are not the same. But if a Muslim just said, I believe because I believe and I have faith, and then a Hindu says it, how would you prove them wrong? Well, the thing is, I'm not, I'm not out to prove anybody wrong. I will tell you... But how, would you how would you know you're right? Yeah because it's what I believe, it's, it's my faith. Yeah, but people my, believe things which are wrong as well, isn't it? Yeah, and but if how, I'm wrong, how would you know? if I'm wrong, then fine, I'm wrong. That's but a, I would that's rather a, that's be- That's a big risk, isn't it? I don't think so. I think you're, you're, you've got the bigger risk. Why? Because I believe I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, the, but the, the Bible tells you that you should prove all things. So when you yeah. say that I'm right, you can't just say I'm right because I believe it. You should say I'm right for this reason, this reason, this reason. Yeah, but the thing yeah. is, I've given my reasons, uh -huh. and if you choose not to, I don't think you have. You just told me it's faith. Yeah. Yeah. I have faith because of the things I've. Like, you, you want the evidence of of God. Yeah. Now, when I'll give you, I'll give you my evidence that I believe proves to me that my God is God. Yeah. Okay. My evidence. Yeah. A couple and of weeks ago. Can you demonstrate it, or is it just? Oh, uh, he's going to demonstrate it for me. Okay. A couple of weeks ago, my son yeah. almost died. He had he suffered seizures. Yeah. We took him to hospital. I went on to. By the time he was in hospital, he was still suffering seizures. Uh -huh. And he'd been in seizures for, um, for for almost two hours. I looked on Google. Because yeah. I didn't know the first thing about seizures. Yeah. I looked on Google and said, how long should seizures last? Yeah. And on Google it said, um, seizures should last about two minutes. If they don't come up, to, if they don't bring, um, if, it lasts, if seizures last longer than five minutes, there's a, ch there's a risk of permanent brain damage or death. Yeah. Right? When my son was still seizing after two hours, I said to my missus, I think you're going to need to give up work. Because if he's sorry, survived, you're going to need to give aid. I think you're going to need to give up work. Okay. Because if he survives, okay. he's going to need a full time Permanent, care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then we, we, that's the way we was we were thinking. So then I did the only thing that I knew that I could do. The only way I could help was through prayer. Okay. I prayed. I went. I sent to my fellowship. Asked them to help me in prayer. Uh -huh. I fasted and prayed for for two, for two full days, uh -huh. and this happened. Tomorrow will be two weeks. Yes, my Tomorrow will be two weeks, yeah. and the fact that not only is my son still alive, he is fully recovered. Yes. For me, is evidence of the power of my God. Okay. Tell me I'm wrong. Well, one. No problem. Uh, Top boss, we gotta go. We gotta go. We should have been at my sister's time ago. Can I just complete that one point then? Because you left it open. No, 
the thing is, you called on God sincerely and He helped you. Yes, that's the proof there's a God. But Muslims have done the same, a Hindu will say they've done the same. Yeah. yeah. So, bro, so that would, but that would prove that he's right. No. Anyway, no problem. To be continued. Right. Thank you very much for your time. All the best. Yeah, no problem. Bismillah. Asr is um, hang on.